Done by Diggity. This is going to be the second match between Too Sexy For You, starting as the... This is a kind of lovely color, Protoss, at the 9 o'clock location. And we have kind of the gray-blue. I'll just leave this color because, granted, it's a little bit close, but I don't know. I like this color palette, so I'm just going to leave it. Phoebus, starting at the 3 o'clock location. This is on Heartbreak Ridge, which old school map with a new school feel. One comment on this is it's difficult for Terran because of all the areas you can proxy, because of all the shenanigans that can be pulled. You've got the interesting double minerals in the middle of the map. You've got spokes that create kind of interesting high ground, whatnot, where people can basically... The, I'll try to drop and re-engage vision here and there as I can, because uh, dragoons and whatnot, whatever, it's high ground advantage. One, and two, vision. And you've got that times three across either pathway. Plus, you've got, you can get up on this high ground, go across the middle pathway, which means there's a lot of ways to engage your opponents on this map. Which means there's a lot of ways to flank, there's a lot of ways to surround. So it tends to be more of a Protoss favored uh, map overall. I'm wondering if Sexy's going to go for, this would be very risky. Currently, he's got a pylon down. I don't see him making. I, he got away with that 12 Nexus, and it's actually incredible. Just, I guess, a testament to Thebus's macro in Game 1. To be honest, like, looking at these two players, after what happened in Game 1, I don't know. I feel like Phoebus is just straight up... I mean, how many more advantages can you get and pull this out? And I'm actually wondering if it would be advantageous for Sexy to actually go for Cheese. Instead, it looks like he's going to go for that 12 Nexus again. Had kind of an instinct on that. Scout moving out for Thebus. We'll, how, we'll see how Thebus decides to respond. Granted, this is not a four-player map, nor is it a three-player map. And this is a very early scout moving out. So Thebus is going to have a lot of options to respond. Refinery being built. Sometimes I wonder if Protoss players just do this. So actually, Thebus doing a very, diligent, uh, very, very diligent job of scouting to make sure that there isn't any proxy at location. He does have those three SCV on gas and kind of an interesting wall here where he's got the barracks, the supply depot alongside and building from there. So after checking a little bit of territory in the middle, moving out, now he's gonna see that 12 Nexus. He's gonna be like, yes, Protoss scum, you and your shenanigans. Leaving the three SCV, actually, is this just two? Might just be two SCV on gas currently. Let's see if he opts with a factory counter or if he's just gonna to try to grab additional do, go for the economic play. Moving out with this Marine. That probe looks like it's going to be able to sneak into the base. The barracks being lifted off. And as far as a counter, Phoebus wants to make sure he can kill this probe scout sooner rather than later. The Marine, initially looking like it wanted to attack that front, having trouble getting, now finally making its way back in the base. The probe going to sneak its way back out and get... Very nearly taken out the natural expansion. There it finally gets taken out the natural expansion. First factory up. Phoebus delayed. It looks like he's maybe going to go just one factory. So he's pulled SCV off gas. So it looks like he's just going to go one factory into expand. Double gateway. This time a, a safer double gateway in robotics. Or cybernetics core, I should say. I don't want to say robotics there. Cybernetics core to follow. Much less risky. But a supply depot in the gap. I'm not sure that this is going to pay off for Thebus. This is clever, and it delays things a little bit. It doesn't allow pro... This would have been much better if it had been earlier before uh, probe transfer. A Marine running forward, but this is going headlong into a Zealot. So Thebus... Over... Uh, I, I think he's trying... I almost wonder if this is like one of those poker strategy things, where it's like show strength when... So right now, just getting a Vulture out, getting his command center up, but acting as though he's going to be a little bit more aggressive and instead pulling back. Maybe if he could have boxed that Zealot out with that Supply Depot, he might have been able to sneak forward. But that, as it stands, it's just going to be a little bit of a waste of minerals uh, for Thebus. So Sexy with a strong economic opener. Let's see if he can follow it up. Thing is, is we had that same scenario in Game 1. All of the advantages and honestly even a faster tech lead for Sexy and yet still not able to out macro and beat Phoebus overall. At this stage, again, worker count just about even, despite uh, Double Nexus being up for a bit of time here. 
And the natural expansion is going to come online, and the worker count is going to be just about even. So there's only going to be, it feels like, a sliver of an advantage. Uh, four sexy overall. Dragoons blocking that front. Barracks floating nearby where it can go ahead and get a look at the main. Actually, I'm almost wondering if it would be fun to just drop the barracks and build a couple marines. Try to sneak a couple probe kills that way. Range being upgraded behind all of this. And we do have a two-factory follow-up with mines for, I think, a degree of map control. And I think, if I was going to predict what I think Thebus is going to do just off uh, just pure gut instinct, is, is, yeah, get his academy up, maybe plop that armory down, and just play level one weapons, a bunch of mines out in the field, and maybe go for either the... Because it's a little bit harder to control a third base from here. So I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for a uh, level one weapons timing attack somewhere around the 11 minute mark. We'll have to see. But we'll we'll keep an eye on what he's up to. Four dragoons and an SCV running forward. That's a lot. Sorry, four vultures and an SCV running forward. That's a lot of dragoons. The dragoons actually able to mind drag into one of the vultures. Very nice defense for sexy. Thieb is still trying to tempt this or press this front door, tempt some of these dragoons out. Does manage to pick off the zealot. So small victories. He's got a marine hanging out near that third that somehow got a kill. I guess that was the same one that got the kill on the front. Siege tanks moving forward. I like Thebus' decision to go ahead and get aggressive with this. He's got siege tanks out. Yeah, I think it's important that Thebus actually... Yeah, plant mines on these spokes. Make sure that there's just mines everywhere on this to go ahead and delay any sort of press out from Too Sexy. I think Sexy, as far as he's playing from here, potentially just going to go for a quick fourth nexus. Has two gateways to go up to four. He is gra grabbing that observatory. Rather than going for that comparative carrier build, I think I'm early calling it here. There's the armory. I'm not sure why I'm trying to get so predictive. Comsat stations being built. And it looks like this barracks is going to get to float in the main to go ahead and spot those corners. I think it's still trying to just hover. Let's see if Sexy can... Sexy does, in fact, see it. Doesn't look like he's fielding any units. But I think what Thebus was looking for is he was just looking to see if he could see if there are pylons or additional stargates being built out here. Which will give him an indication of, yeah, what Sexy is up to. So I like that play. Just skirting the edge as well. I think he's going to be able to go ahead and pull out with that and keep that barracks up. Save himself some needing to spend 150 resources to get it uh, rebuilt. He saw the robo. But I think, and we do have that robotic support bay to potentially get a reaver mixed in the attack. Still no indications of Sexy moving out to go ahead and establish a third on any front. Four siege tanks on defense in the front, we do have double machine shop just sticking to two factories in the midst of this. Level one weapons on the way. Early indicators, I think, here are that it's going to be a smaller factory count and maybe an attempt at taking a third. Potentially this third right here. But again, this is a map where... Yeah, Protoss, can, you can see if you don't hold this forward spoke or if you don't even hold like this middle area where units can just end up flooding up to the north and catch you off guard and really delay this third for a long period of time. We saw Master Ray do that in previous matches for just immense periods of time. And it's just a lot of territory to cover. A lot of things to try to keep an eye on. In the meantime, a bunch of Dragoons being fielded towards the front. Reaver about halfway finished. Shuttle is there. The probe is going to go ahead and mine out that back mineral patch to potentially move out and take that third. Mines have not been cleared out on the front yet by Sexy. He needs to get up, needs to get movement on that because this is kind of giving a lot of info to Thebus as well as far as that this is more of a passive play. Two additional factories being plopped down, some turrets along the perimeter, weapons one about halfway finished, and an SCV in position to go ahead and grab that third base. Now Sexy starting to move forward and clear out a lot of these mines. Let's see if he, the Observer a little bit out of position. He's taking the low ground to do so. Is he going to try to elevate her? I hope he's not trying to elevate her. He's moving these Dragoons to this pocket. This is a wide open base. There are no Observers here. So it is possible with that shuttle, he can just move a lot of troops across the line. Looks like he's just checking the corner to see if he could pick anything off over the wall. Thebus doesn't have anything to grab, but now he's making his way out towards the natural expansion. Thebus has not yet grabbed his third. He does have an SEV in location and spreading out a lot of units. Dragoon's getting splatted. The engineering bay taking a bit of fire. And this is not the engagement Sexy wanted. Really bad engagement. Now dropping from the high ground. Nice drop behind the enemy lines, though. Able to get a handful of siege tanks. But you could just see the spread. These Dragoons 
ate a lot of fire before they were even able to engage, and Phoebus annihilated that army. Absolutely annihilated that army. And honestly, despite maybe not planning for a... So it looks like he is going for that push. He's got five factories down. Level 1 weapons is just about to finish, and that was the worst possible timing for Sexy. Because even, even if... Even if there wasn't a, a plan to go for that attack, losing that much army with how little Phoebus lost behind it, that still might have provoked a counterattack. Mineral Field, not yet mined out. Dragoons are there at the forward position. They still haven't seen the Marine there, but now Sexy in a lot of trouble. He needs to hurry up and get some units, and he needs to get position because these siege tanks are just running straight forward. This is four Dragoons now finally engaging here. Phoebus in the red, so a slight advantage right there. There are Dragoons to the north. Probe getting killed as it was trying to move in position. Looking for reinforcements for Thebus. So he does have the five factories, but it looks like they're mostly remaining silent here. And Thebus opting to go ahead and grab... So I initially thought with the attack on a factories and level one weapons just finishing that he was in fact going to go for a push. It looks like instead he's going to opt to so, uh, slow play it. And did... Uh, I guess they had it backwards. He was just kind of pressing forward into the midst of this. Didn't have a, a lot of troops behind. But with those units spread out, Sexy doing a good job of clearing out what he can. You can see that misfire really, really, really hurting him on that front. And if Phoebus can continue to reinforce this front spoke, that is going to be enough of a threat that it's going to deny that third base. So Sexy again in trouble in mid-match. Third base up for Thebus. Does have some additional siege tanks in position to go ahead and reinforce. And I just feel like Sexy doesn't have a lot of options to counterattack. He's locked to two bases. I don't know that he's in a strong situation to take a third. Significant supply lead for Thebus. So Thebus, once again, just controlling this match top to bottom. No second armory as of yet, and the armory re remaining silent. Science facility there, it looks like, uh, to push those upgrades. <clears throat> Control tower as well, potentially to deal with Arbiter Tech. We do have Templar Archives, a fleet beacon once again. But rather than being in a comfortable economic spot to really sneak this, Too Sexy trying to do this, I think, more as a desperation maneuver rather than anything. And I do not like it at this stage. Vultures sneaking up on the back end high ground. What If they can get position here, they can kill those probes from the safety of that northern location. The Dragoon's having trouble, and they got to go up high ground. Looks like the Reaver's going to just defend that there. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice having trouble. Siege tank sieging now and working on that assimilator, which is definitely going to create problems. But in the midst of this tech switch, there's just not enough units to defend any of this. So Thebus coiling around the south here, and it looks like <clears throat> those Reavers just getting splatted able to take out a single siege tank but that is not enough and this is not enough dragoons to even clear out the threat of the troops that are directly in front of them let alone put some pressure counter pressure on thebus so thebus in firm control of this match a desperation dt now for sexy is going to be able to catch that siege tank but otherwise sexy in dire straits natural expansion no longer running he is going to be able to build two carriers but with everything that Phoebus has nearby, it almost feels as though he could just run straight into this, ignore the DT, ignore... I guess he doesn't need to ignore that DT anymore. Probes sneaking in. They're going to go ahead and get picked off by these vultures. And once again, the natural expansion being cleared and wiped out. DT on defense, but honestly, this is game. There's no way I see 60, uh, Sexy getting back into this. Three bases just mining very, very happily. More DTs being fielded. There's the carriers as well, but it is just a bit of an afterthought. This is more moral victory than anything because this base is not mining. A vulture still not being able to be contended with. It's going to be able to... Well, is it going to be able to sneak through there? Nope. Phoebus just needs to pump a round of Goliaths, and he should be able to deal with those carriers. And this, the carrier is usually where you'd want them out on the front, wreaking havoc, providing map control. Instead, they're just trying to retake the natural expansion, which hasn't been mining for the last handful of minutes. 
And there's GG from Sexy, yeah, realizing it's too little too late. So Thebus will advance to the winner's bracket. We'll see Sexy in the loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.